next condition you see ph of ph of a weak acid solution if dissociation of water is considered all these formula you must keep this condition in mind okay weak acid solution if dissociation of water is considered okay suppose we have a weak acid ha and this gives h plus and a minus water also dissociate gives h plus and oh minus okay we need to find out ph okay logically also you can think see we have two source of h plus here one is this acid other one is water so you need to find out total h plus concentration then only we can use then we can use the formula of ph correct so how do we find out the total h plus concentration we can find out this by charge balance for charge balance what we can write total positive charge equals to the total negative charge a minus and oh minus total charge we are taking h plus and a minus oh minus now for acid for acid ka equals to h plus a minus ha remember we need to find out h plus so what we are trying to do we are trying to substitute this a minus in terms of h plus because the concentration of this acid will be given k value will be given in the question okay correct a minus we are trying to substitute in terms of h plus similarly oh minus also will substitute in terms of h plus and will find out h plus then this acid concentration will be given k value will be given in the question so from this if you find out the concentration of a minus that would be ka into ha divided by h plus concentration this is one copy this down i'll go to the next slide done i have written this by charge balance total positive charge equals to total negative charge
again, I am explaining this. We have two sources of H plus, H A and H two, acid and water. Total concentration of H plus equals to total concentration of negative charge A minus in OH minus because overall it should be neutral. A minus we calculated in terms of H plus. Now we'll find out OH minus in terms of H plus. So for that, we have the expression of KW. KW is equals to concentration of H plus OH minus. So concentration of OH minus would be KW by H plus concentration. So we have OH minus, we have A minus. Now we substitute these two in the charge balance equation. So what we get here, we get H plus concentration equals to A minus would be Ka into H A divided by H plus plus O H minus would be K W by H plus. So H plus concentration square equals to K A into H A plus K W. Okay. This H A, like I said, its concentration will be given in the question C. Kw value we know it is 10 to the power minus 14. Okay, but this value we won't substitute. I just I have just written it over here. So H plus concentration would be root over of. K A into C plus K W. This is the formula we get. So all the value will be given. You just need to substitute all the value in this formula. You will get H plus concentration and then we can find out pH. Yeah, done. Okay. Now we have only one acid in water in this case. You can also have more than one acid, multiple acids present. Okay. So suppose if you have, if two acids are present in the solution, then the formula is exactly similar. H plus concentration would be the root under of the first acid ka Ka value, Ka1 into concentration of that C1 plus for the second one, Ka2, C2 and Kw. If you have three, then one more component of this will have over there. Nothing much. Look at this question. Suppose we are mixing two acid in water. We are mixing two acid in water and dissociation of water we are considering here. The Ka1 value of acid one is given 10 to the power minus eight. C1 is 
10 to the power minus 2 molar ka2 is 10 to the power minus 3 minus 7 and c2 is 10 to the power minus 3 molar you need to find out the ph of this mixture try this Done. Is it 17? Uh, it will be given in the question. It will be mentioned that water is also dissociating like this. It is mentioned. So like in thermodynamics, we are trying to discuss all possible conditions and in a given condition, what could be the possibility to find out H plus concentration and then pH. Okay. So in the question, it will be mentioned that H plus concentration or water dissociation you have to consider or not. You're getting 17, Gayatri. Seventeen, uh, yeah. Ten to the minus fourteen only you will take, but seventeen is not possible. It's acid, no. So it's a uh, acid solution. The pH value should be less than seven, correct? Okay. So just we need to use the formula here. pH equals to Ka one into C one. That is ten to the power minus ten. Ka2 into C2 10 to the power minus 10 plus 10 to the power minus 14 root over of it. 10 to the power minus 10 if you take common then outside the root it would be 10 to the power minus 5 divided by 2 plus 10 to the power minus 4. So obviously 10 to the power minus 4 is 2 less in comparison to 2. So we'll just ignore this. Right. Approximation also very important in this chapter. Okay. You should know that how we can approximate the given expression. Right. So it is. Yeah, it is the concentration of H plus my bad. Yes, it is H plus concentration. Okay. So it is root two into this. I'll write down as it is root two into 10 to the power minus five. Okay, so pH would be what? pH is equals to minus log of H plus root 2 into 10 to the minus 5. So 5 minus log of root 2 is half of log 2. Log 2 is 0 0.30, so 1.15. So 5 minus 0 0.15, it is. 4.85 the answer.
correct okay similar kind of formula we have when we have base and dissociation of water so in this we have a mixture of base we are considering the dissociation of water here also so in this case the concentration of oh minus i'm just giving you the formula similar way we can derive this we have kb1 c1 plus kb2 c2 plus kw root over of it okay now so we are done first part of this you know chapter in which we have a mixture which we forms by the mixture of acid base water everything we are done now we have to understand uh, again like i said this chapter is all about the calculation of ph so different different types of solution we may get like two very important concept we have here that is salt hydrolysis and the buffer solution okay so first we are going to discuss next concept here that is salt hydrolysis heading all of you write down salt hydrolysis what do you understand by this term salt hydrolysis yeah what is salt hydrolysis salt hydrolysis means yes water and salt dissolution of salt in water that is nothing but the hydrolysis hydrolysis is nothing but dissolution of a of any compound into water that is hydrolysis the salt hydrolysis is reaction of salt and water so basically if you look at this reaction acid reacts with base forms salt and water what is this reaction could you tell me reaction of acid and base is what it is neutralization reaction both are neutralizing each other right so it is neutralization reaction but since the reaction is reversible this reaction can also go into backward direction once it goes into backward direction if it goes into backward direction then this reaction we call it as what this is hydrolysis of salt salt is reacting with water so it is hydrolysis of salt tell me is it clear to all of you right clear okay one very important point i am going to tell you here which you will understand this clearly why this point i am giving you once we start the buffer solution okay so for here you just keep this thing as it is in your mind okay logic you will understand why we have this condition once we discuss the buffer solution what i am trying to tell you here that for salt hydrolysis the number of equivalents of acid and base must be equal must be equal right 
why i am giving you this condition that you will understand once we discuss buffer solution here you just keep this in mind correct number of equivalence must be same if it is not same then that case will be a different case we cannot use the formula of salt hydrolysis okay just to keep this in mind so whenever you get this question right i'll tell you one thing here suppose you have acid and base previously if you see we are discussing acid base only acid when mixed with base so everywhere we have acid base ka reaction but the concept is different terms are also different here salt hydrolysis we are using so when you are going to use acid base mixture wala ph formula or when you are going to use salt hydrolysis ka formula that you must understand okay when you do not have equal equivalence of this correct then the solution may be what may be acidic or basic if acid is more then the solution is uh, acidic if base is more then the solution is basic okay if it is a basic solution then it will be oh minus concentration equals to what number of equivalents of base minus number of equivalents of acid divided by total volume similarly for acid also we can take right but acid and base when they are reacting okay they forms salt plus water so if you have few amount of salt present with a given acid it forms a different types of solution it has a different behavior what is that solution what is that behavior we'll discuss that later so to avoid that situation salt plus acid ka situation if you want to avoid for that uh, you know condition you must have this acid gets you know acid reacts completely into the reaction means once the reaction proceeds or completes then there is no acid or base present into that solution then only we can use salt plus water ka reaction which is salt hydrolysis if any one of these two present then the reaction uh, you know the solution has different property mixture has different property and it has it is different condition we need to apply so hydrolysis of salt we apply only when either this or this not present in the solution then only we can apply so complete neutralization we need to think number of equivalents of acid and base must be equal first thing is that now what is salt hydrolysis coming back to this point salt hydrolysis first point in this you write down it is the it is the opposite of or the reverse of neutralization process it is the opposite of neutralization process or reverse of neutralization process okay next thing you see when acid and base reacts it forms salts and water but we have four different conditions possible here like we can take strong acid is strong base we can take weak acid is strong base we can take a strong acid weak base we can take weak acid weak base so there are four possibilities we have depending upon the property or the nature of acid and base that you are taking for all these four property we need to understand the salt hydrolysis and the formula of ph in each cases so one by one we'll discuss all the three, four over here first condition all of you write down hydrolysis of hydrolysis of the salt of A strong acid sa stands for a strong acid sb stands for a strong base hydrolysis of 
the salt of strong acid and a strong base. I'll take one example. If you get all these things in the exam, you can also think of like this only. Assume one is strong acid and a strong base. For example, I'm assuming HCl, strong acid, NaOH, strong base. What it forms? It forms salt and water. I'm sorry. It forms NaCl and H2O. Okay, one second, one second. I forgot. Did you copy this, all of you? Did you copy this, all of you? But, okay, let it be there. Just one more thing I just discussed over here, and then we'll again come back to this. Uh, see, Suppose you have, uh, in general, I'm discussing this. Then again, we'll come back to this. In general, we have an acid, suppose HA, and base is BOH. When this two reacts, it forms BA, the salt, and water H2. In this BA, you see there are two ions present. That is B plus and A minus. So hydrolysis of salt means what? The reaction of these iron with water. Okay. The reaction of these iron with water. So suppose if B plus reacts with water, then what happens? Okay, you see here, the so salt has this anion and this cation part. Okay, guys, there's some uh, construction, some drilling work is going on. Can we take a break now? I think it will get over in 10, 15 minutes. Right? Can you hear me? Yes, okay, fine. So we'll, uh, I think it's, Achha, we'll continue. If it happens again, then we'll take a break. Just a second. We'll continue. If it happens again, then we'll take a break. Okay. So what I was talking about, I was talking about this salt. It has two parts. One is cation part. Other one is anion part. Okay. Cation and anion part. So both this part get hydrolyzed in water, depending upon some condition. That condition we'll discuss. So if the hydrolysis of cation is taking place, then it releases H plus ion in the solution and this gives acidic property to the solution. Isn't it? Is it clear? 
what i'm telling you cation and anion part may get hydrolyzed like this if the cation part is getting hydrolyzed it gives acidic acidic property to the solution one second prakul if the cation part is getting hydrolyzed it gives acidic property to the solution if anion part is getting hydrolyzed will get basic property to the solution will get basic property to the solution correct so point i am trying to make that whenever you have this uh, whenever you have this hydrolysis of salt the solution could be either acidic or basic or neutral also possible correct because it releases either h plus or oh minus ion in the solution correct just one thing we'll discuss here first when you have this a strong acid and a strong base right one property you have to keep in mind we'll finish this just a second hcl and naoh this nacl gives two ions like i said one is cation other one is anion na plus and cl minus correct now this cation is the cation of strong base strong base and this is the anion of strong acid cation of strong base and anion of strong acid correct since it is the strong base and strong acid so it exists in the form of ions only like you see if i am assuming this reaction na plus dissolve in water it gives naoh and h plus but still this exists as na plus and oh minus only since it is a strong electrolyte so this reaction has no significance actually and it goes in backward direction only because it exists as na plus hence we say the hydrolysis of cation of strong base is not possible right similarly if you talk about cl minus plus h2o it gives you the same kind of reaction hcl plus oh minus hcl also a strong acid so here also it exists as h plus and cl minus hence we say what we conclude this and we say what that hydrolysis of of cation of strong base of a strong base and anion of a strong acid is not possible is not possible the solution is neutral right the solution is neutral and its ph value is 7 did you understand this hydrolysis of salt of strong acid in strong base is neutral in nature and its ph value is 7 you must keep this in mind that hydrolysis of cation of strong base and anion of strong acid is not possible because it exists in the form of ions only because these two are strong electrolyte no na plus and cl minus weak acid and weak base uh, we generally don't define but yes if you look at this reaction na plus has very least tendency to release h plus ion hence it is a very 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 weak base acid sorry right these two a uh, condition you must keep in mind hydrolysis of cation of strong uh, base and anion of strong acid is not possible correct got it okay fine we'll take a break now okay we'll resume at 6 okay 6 o'clock we'll resume take a break we'll continue from this
Yes, can you hear me, guys? Okay. Fine. So um, we were talking about hydrolysis of salt. Salt contains uh, cations and anions. So depending upon the nature of cations and anions, either like both can get hydrolyzed or none of them will get hydrolyzed or any one of them will get hydrolyzed. So all four possibilities are there, right? If hydrolysis of both is not possible, that is there in the case of strong acid and strong base and the solution will be neutral, pH value is seven, okay? And since you see this hydrolysis is not possible here, means backward reaction is not possible. And that's why I have given this irreversible sign. It's not reversible, right? Irreversible sign. Anyways, second case you see, hydrolysis, of the salt of weak acid and strong base. Okay. Any weak acid you can assume. I am assuming CS3COOH. CS3COOH and a strong base, suppose NaOH we have, and it forms CS3COONA and water H2O. This is a reaction. So the two ions we have here in the salt is CS3COO minus Na plus. You see Na plus again, it is the cation of strong base. So it's hydrolysis is not possible. Okay. So we can say for Na plus, no hydrolysis. This one will go under hydrolysis. Reverse reaction is possible here. And the reaction, if you see hydrolyzed reaction here, CH3COO minus dissolve in water forms CS3COONA, sorry, OH plus OH minus. Right? Concentration of this salt here, we are assuming it as C initially. Like when the reaction proceeds, you'll get this concentration of the salt, which gives the same concentration of CSTCO minus, goes into hydrolysis, forms this. So initially it is uh, uh, zero and zero. And when the reaction takes place, it forms C minus CH. This is CH and this is CH. Here H is similar to alpha that we had. For hydrolysis, we are considering H over here. It is called as degree of hydrolysis. Alpha is degree of dissociation. Since the process is hydrolysis, we are assuming H here. Clear? Copied? Okay. Now, since it is the hydrolysis reaction, so it's constant for this reaction, like we have Ka, Kb uh, previously, Kc. Similarly, for hydrolysis, we define it as Kh. So Kh equals to CS3COOH, OH minus divided by CH3COO minus. 
you can write this okay now the concentration of this will substitute here cst coh is ch this is also ch it is c into 1 minus h one second i'll go back Okay. So when you solve this, C and C will get cancelled. K H equals to C H square divided by one minus H. And again, if H is very small, so one minus H is almost equals to one, and hence H equals to K H by C root over of it. Okay, K H by C root over of it. This is one thing. We just mathematical derivation we have here. It's not difficult to understand. Now this relation you let it be at one place. This one you just let it be here. Now consider this one here. We have K H equals to concentration of C H three C O O H. Divided by O H minus, sorry, divided by C S three C O minus O H minus concentration. What I am doing? This here I am multiplying with H plus. And here also, I'm multiplying with h plus. Just look at this. What is happening? Okay. Now this entire term, you see here, this you can write as k w, k w, right? And this expression, if you see. This expression that you have, it is one by k, isn't it? One by k, okay. So this we can write k h equals to k w by k. Any doubt in this? Tell me, all of you. No doubt. So you have to memorize all this formula actually, and it's not like we have only one. Like this also, we have the another case, the third one, and fourth one also we have. So we'll have three different types of relation over here. So you have to be very careful with all these, uh, you know, expression in what condition we get what. I'll tell you some trick over here so that you can memorize. Before that, you see one more thing here. Further. This H, what we can write? In instead of this K H, I'll write down K W by K. So it is K W by K A into concentration C. Right? Okay. Now, what is the condition we have here? We are taking weak acid and strong base, isn't it? We are taking weak acid and strong base. Correct? So whatever is weak, for that only we'll write down the dissociation constant here. Means K H equals to K W by K A. Why K A here? Because acid is weak here, right? So you can keep this in mind like this. The expression of K H. No, in K H we don't have an. Uh, here we have. I'm sorry. Here we have under root. I missed it. This is fine. What is K H here? K H is the K 
kh is the hydrolysis constant like k is the dissociation constant it is hydrolysis constant hydrolysis constant okay so you need to memorize the expression of h which is degree of hydrolysis expression of kh which is hydrolysis constant how do you memorize we always have kw in the numerator in the denominator we'll write down the constant of the component which is weak weak component will write down so since it is for weak acid and strong base so acid is weak so for acid i'll write down the constant over here k and then we'll have this only is it clear right yeah so next our objective is to find out the concentration of h plus and like i told you that the concentration of h plus we need to find out in order to calculate ph and here we have oh minus concentration oh minus is ch correct oh minus is ch so h you have c will be given in the question so you can find out easily the concentration of oh minus then poh and then ph so i'll write down here you see like you see this expression first of all the concentration of the h value is this kw by k into c so concentration of oh would be what will be ch so c you let it be as it is h is kw by k into c root over of it so c and c will get cancelled so it is kw into c by ka root over of it this is oh minus concentration now when you solve this you'll get poh i'll write down the expression here directly poh equals to pkw divided by 2 minus half of log c plus pka okay this is the expression at 25 degrees celsius what happens at 25 degrees celsius pkw equals to 14 right hence poh equals to 14 by 2 that is 7 minus half of pka plus log c okay if you try to find out ph ph would be 14 minus poh that is 7 plus half of pka plus log c this is a ph and poh expression tell me any doubt in this you see here since ph we are getting greater than 7 7 plus some value we have right hence the solution is what basic in nature okay so you need to memorize the formula of ph you need to memorize the formula of h you need to memorize the formula of kh all these three things they ask terms also you must keep in mind h is the degree of hydrolysis kh is the hydrolysis constant okay we are getting basic solution here which is quite understandable because you see the condition is what we are considering here a strong base 
so obviously this strong base will dominate this acid because it is weak that's one thing second point is what when it get hydrolyzed it releases oh minus which gives basic property to the solution so ideally we should give get ph greater than 7 isn't it and that is what we are getting yes tell me guys so all these things you can you know correlate since we are having a strong base so solution must be basic ph value must be greater than 7 so you don't you won't get confused over here that 7 plus we should write or 7 minus we should write because the base is strong so it is basic so we must have 7 plus the expression this expression is same for both right so plus and minus you won't get confused over here is it clear and it out all of you respond please correct okay but you need to understand again the condition of salt hydrolysis you can apply when the number of equivalents of what number of equivalents of acid and base must be equal if it is not then it is not the case of salt hydrolysis the solution is different we'll get different answer uh, according to this okay so condition you must remember now the third case we have here hydrolysis of hydrolysis of salt of strong acid and weak base strong acid and weak base okay so strong acid for example i am taking uh hcl and weak is weak base is nh4oh nh4oh and hcl suppose strong acid weak base it forms nh4cl and water h2o so nh4cl the ions it produce is nh4 plus and cl minus okay so obviously the cl minus is the anion of strong acid so for this we don't have any hydrolysis so no hydrolysis for this okay no hydrolysis for this this one will go under hydrolysis and the reaction would be we have nh4 plus plus h2o it forms what it forms nh4 oh and h plus now two three things uh, logically you can understand here the one that we just discussed in the previous case first of all since this is a strong acid we have hence the solution would be what solution would be acidic it dominates the weak base second point we are getting h plus here h plus releases into the solution this makes the solution acidic so it's quite good okay if you write down we'll derive this also but i'll just write down how to write down the i'll just write down the formula here how we can write down the formula directly you see see the previous one kh is equals to we had written kw by ka and i said what in the denominator you will get the component which is 
you will have the component which is weak here right so since in this case we have weak base here so instead of ka you will get kb this is the formula of kh i will do the derivation also but first you see because you cannot derive these things in the exam right you should not derive this thing in the exam so how to write down the formula correct so kh is equals to kw by kb if you write down the formula of h degree of hydrolysis that would be what could you tell me it is again kw by instead of ka we'll write down kb into c right this is the formula of h yes it will be a root under i'll write down that so h is this root over of it yeah right just you need to substitute the weak part over here like weak base we have so instead of k we'll have kb ph would be since it is acidic here since it is acidic here the previous one you see i'll just show you over here the previous one you see the ph formula since the base acid was weak so we'll get here the weak component k right now we have here the base is weak plus the solution is acidic so for acidic solution we know ph is less than 7 so 7 minus you should write down because it is acidic 7 minus everything is same half of p k we have the weak base so pkb plus log c this is the formula of ph similarly poh is 14 minus ph did you understand how to write down the formula tell me how many of you understood this because guys you cannot derive this okay you cannot derive this in the exam let me tell you okay i have done the derivation so that you can understand how do we get it but then again you need to relate and and then write down the formula okay easily you can write always weak component you should write here okay now how do we get this formula same kind of derivation we have quickly i'll write down consider this reaction i'll write down kh for this so what i'll do here kh equals to a uh, concentration of nh4oh divided by nh4 plus we have h plus here now just to express this in terms of kw i'll multiply oh minus here and divide oh minus here same exactly same thing we have over here so further kh is equals to what we get we get kw by kb that's what i said right you get kw by kb um and again if you write down the concentration term in terms of concentration then kh would be it is c h into c h divided by c into 1 minus h all those approximation we make and we get concentration c h is equals to kh by c root over of it okay further this h equals to kh we know kw by kb so we have kw by kb into c root over of it this is the formula of h we need to find out ph ph concentration we know h plus concentration is c into h concentration of h plus is ch h is kw by kb into c c and root c cancel out so it is kw into 
C by KB root over of it. And then you find out pH from this. So pH is equals to seven minus half of PKB plus log C. And always remember this, this seven that we get here, it is because of the temperature that we are taking 25 degrees Celsius. I haven't seen any question where, where they have, you know, changes the temperature over here. So you need to consider this only, but keep this in mind. It is PKW by two over there. Here it was PKW by two. Now PKW is 14 at 25 degrees Celsius. Hence we get seven over here. If it is not 25 degrees Celsius, then we can have anything else. POH would be seven plus half of PKB plus log C. This is the expression you get. Yeah, done. Okay. Now the last one we have, when both are weak, acid and base. Once again, guys. Okay, so then uh, the fourth uh, part we have here, hydrolysis of of salt of weak acid and weak base. Now here both are weak, correct? So, 
in this case, yeah, once again, I'll go back. Then, achha. this one, Okay. Now, weak acid and weak base we have. So, for example, I can take a weak base that is NH4OH and weak acid is CH3COOH. So, it is CH3COOH plus NH4OH gives CH3COO. NH4 plus H2O. Okay. So ions, if you see here, it is CS3CO minus and NH4 plus. Both are the ions of weak acid and weak base. So hydrolysis of both possible over here. So the reaction would be CH3 COO minus plus NH4 plus dissolved in water forms a weak acid CH3 COOH and a weak base NH4 OH. So if it is C, C, zero, zero initially, it is C minus CH. C minus CH, CH and CH. Okay. So KH would be here. CH into CH divided by C into 1 minus H, C into 1 minus H, which is nothing but H square by 1 minus H whole square. Copy this down. Okay, done. Right, now you see, from this we can write down H by one minus H. Is equals to root over of KH. So expression of H equals to um, root over of kh by 1 plus 
root over of kh. This is one thing. Okay, this is the expression of h. Now, if you see the expression further of kh, we have uh, CH3 COOH on the product side divided by CH3 COO minus. Uh, then we have NH4OH on the product side divided by NH4 plus. And to just get the expression of KW, I'll multiply here H plus. I'll multiply here OH minus. And then in the numerator also, we have to multiply by H plus and OH minus. This expression is one by Ka. Another one is one by Kb. And this one is Kw. Hence the expression of Kh is equals to Kw by K into Kb. Since both are weak acid and base, so we are getting both here in the denominator. Okay. So once you know this KH, you can find out degree of hydrolysis H also. Clear? Okay. We need to find out pH. And for pH, we require H plus concentration. And for that, we'll write down the expression of Ka which is um, CH3COO minus H plus CH3COOH. Okay. So H plus concentration would be Ka into CH3COOH, okay? So CH3COOH is CH C into one minus H. C and C will get canceled. So Ka is into H by one minus H. What is H by one minus H? H by one minus H is nothing but root over of Kh root over of kh kh expression just now we have you know find out we find out this kh expression which is equals to kw by ka into kb root over of it which further we can write kw into ka divided by kb root over of it and once you solve this for ph you will get the expression of pH 7 plus half of pKa minus pKb. Copy this down.
वन सेकेंड जस्ट दिस वन Done. Okay. See here, we cannot say whether this solution is acidic or basic, because it depends upon pKa and pKb value. So we have three conditions over here. All three kinds of solution possible here. So first thing is what? Case one. If Ka dissociation constant of an acid is greater than Kb. If K is greater than K B, then we can write P K A is less than P K B, and then we can write P K A minus P K B is less than zero. Okay, when it is less than zero, so under this condition, P H is what is less than seven. pH is less than seven, which makes the solution acidic. Case two: If Ka is or Kb, I'll write on Kb is greater than Ka. So pKb is less than pKa. Hence, pK A minus pK B is greater than zero, which further means pH is greater than seven, and hence it is basic. Done. Okay. Third case. Um. If. P, if K is equals to K B, which further means P K A equals to P K B, which means P H equals to seven, and the solution is neutral in this case. Neutral solution. Okay, so all three conditions you must take care of. Yeah, one second, I'll go back. How do you memorize this acidic or basic solution? See, whatever is more, if K is more acidic, if KB is more basic. So whatever is more, that would be the uh, property of the mixture.
done all of you okay now you look at this question here salt hydrolysis is done over here you can get question from this so uh the question is calculate the ph of the solution the first question we have we are mixing ch3coh and we are mixing naoh the data is given over here we have 0.1 molar and 100 ml of acid naoh 0.1 molar and 100 ml of it the first one is this the second one is we have a weak base NH4OH with HCl. For NH4OH, it is again 0.1 molar and 100 ml. HCl, it is 0.1 molar, 100 ml. The Ka value. For acid is given, CH3COOH. Kb value for base is also given. Both are equal, NH4OH. And this is equals to two into ten to the power minus five. Two more question we have. I'll write down first, and then I'll show you the question. The third one we have, we have HCl we are mixing with NaOH. Point one molar HCl and hundred ml volume. For this one, it is point one molar NaOH, hundred ml volume. And the last one is we have NH four OH with CH three COOH. Both are weak. Okay, point one and hundred here also. Point one and hundred. Try this question. Done. 
Okay, the first one you see, first of all, you tell me the PKA and PKB value. If you calculate this PKA and PKB value, it will be same 4.7 you will get. It is a case of weak acid and a strong base. See the number of millimoles of this and millimoles of this is equal. So complete neutralization is there. Okay. It is 10 millimoles, 10 millimoles equal, right? So pH we know for weak acid, we know the solution is basic. So pH should be more than seven, seven plus half of whatever weak we have, pKa plus log C. What is the value of C over here? Seven plus half of pKa is 4.7, log C is 10 millimoles. So log 10 into 10 to the power minus three moles it is. So when you solve this, you will get pH equals to seven plus half of 4.7 minus two. Right, so 2.7, 2.7 by 2, 1.35, 1.35 plus 7. So it is 8.35, isn't it? Oh, one second, one correction I need to do. Okay. Yeah, one second, one second. We have log C here. What is the value of C? The value of C, if you calculate, we have 0.1 molar, right? Or the number of millimoles, one correction I'll do over here. See here. The acid, the salt that forms, it forms what? It forms 10 millimoles, right? So 10 into 10 to the power minus three, moles of salt we get salt right because this hydrolysis is happening with the salt only but this is moles it is not the concentration concentration would be 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by the volume volume is 100 plus 100 200 right so this would be 2 into 10 to the power minus 4 sorry 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 4. So log of this value you need to calculate. Okay. 0 0.05 concentration you'll get if you consider the millimoles over there. Right, so millimoles we have here. If you take this as millimoles 10 only, you'll get this 0 0.05. Yeah, that's right. So, log of here we get zero point zero five, which you will substitute here so 7 plus half of log of 0 0.05 is minus 1.3 is less than one. So it is five 
4.75. Could you check the log of 0 0.05? What is the value we have? The stochastic ones. Log of 0 0.05, what is the value? Tell me. Point 0.7 minus 2. Point 0.7 minus 2 is again 1.3, minus 1.3, correct? Okay. So this would be 4.7 minus 1.3. Tell me, what is this value you are getting? 0.7 is 2 and then or 0 0.4, 3.4, 3 3.4 by 2. So 7 plus 1.7, 8.7 we are getting. Basic. It should be basic only because base is strong over here. Okay. Similarly, we have a strong acid. So directly I'll write down pH equals to 7 minus half of pkb plus log c that would be 7 minus half of pkb is 4.7 and log c would be what log c is the same value no minus 1.3 so it is 7 minus 1.7 which is equals to 5.3 it's an acidic solution 5.3 minus we have here so you see we have minus sign not plus yes got it okay the other two you try this two Yes, it is neutral because we have strong acid and strong base, but do check the number of millimoles here. Number of millimoles is 10. Number of millimoles is 10. Since we have equal millimoles, complete neutralization, pH is 7. If it is not equal, then the answer would be different. This one weak acid and weak base yeah i'll go one second okay Last one, what is the answer? Yes. So in this case, also you see pKa is equals to pKb. Equal value we have, right? pKa is equals to pKb. So this is also neutral. The pH value is 7 for this. Clear?
Okay. Now, the next concept we are going to understand that is buffer solution. 